right guys, so it is day two of this street notes assignment. Initially, I wanted to go in order and give you guys the first five assignments, but I slowly realized that one and two were kind of similar, and then as I read down the list, there were a few that were kind of like, you know, yin yang or, you know, different opposites. So I, I wanted to mix it up a little bit for you guys. So today we're actually gonna do assignment number three, which is photograph like simple backgrounds. that I did, which was actually assignment number three in the book, but my second assignment. And for those of you who may have forgotten, it was uh, for clean backgrounds. So the objective or the assignment was to shoot and try to get like an entirely clean background. And again, this meant like, it could be like a white wall, it could be like just really simplistic backgrounds that weren't noisy, that didn't detract uh, from the subject. I had a hard time doing this. This is not my style of photography. And I, I, I swear to you, initially when I was doing this, I was like, yo, fuck this assignment, I'm not doing this, I'm just gonna do something else. But then I was just like, no, this is good because this, is, this doesn't detract from the book. This doesn't mean that the assignment was bad, it just meant that it wasn't for me. And I think out of these 15 assignments, you're gonna find assignments that aren't for you. And that's really good if you're a new photographer because that can be kind of eye-opening and it can kind of let you know what you're not good at or what you're not into. You know, I'm not into clean backgrounds because even though the, the background's clean, trying to find a clean background or focusing on backgrounds was a distraction for me. You know, I'm really into like up close and personal like subject matter and reactions and expressions and trying to incorporate a clean background in that kind of detracted from my photo style. So these assignments aren't just good to like make you better but to make you more aware. And I'm aware that clean backgrounds just aren't for me. This is the most frustrating experience in my life. I don't even know if I got any clean backgrounds. Um, you guys let me know. For whatever reason, there's no assignment page in my book. So like it doesn't have a, a fill out sheet. So I'm just gonna kind of freestyle this. Um, so again, the lessons that I learned is that um, this isn't my style of photography. I'm, I'm not good at this. I also learned that you need to kind of slow down when doing this. I was walking around a lot and this that wasn't smart. You know, I should have just found a clean background and patiently waited for somebody to walk through. I guess what not to do is kind of the reverse of that. So, you know, I should have just not moved so fast. Um, not focus so much on the background per se, but on the subject as well, kind of have that balance. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I think this is definitely, like I said, a high opening experience for me. I, I think that we're fans of photography. I'm fans of photographs with clean backgrounds, but it doesn't mean that I'm, a, I'm into creating them, because I'm not. So when you go through these 15 assignments, don't get bummed out, don't skip any. Use them as lessons, like, all right, maybe this isn't my style. And that's gonna kinda help you define who you are as a photographer, 
what your style is, and what to focus on the next time you're on the streets. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to pick up the street notes. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. I'm also kind of stressed out, but it's, it's beneficial. So check it out, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. I enjoy your uh, song. Have a good day.